What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be restoring these Nike SB Jordan 4s. A few weeks ago, Nick Wilson did a full cleaning on this specific shoe. He trashed them, but he did a great job cleaning them up. Afterwards, I bought them off Charlie, AKA Winona Kicks. I got them for a great price. The main reason why I bought them is so I could wear them and skate them up some more. I wanted to trash them and beat them up so I could do a full restoration video, just in case you guys had to restore the shoe at home. So, let's get started. To start this project, we're going to be using Rejuvenator Signature Shoe Cleaning Kit that comes with all three brushes, laundry bag, and solution. First things first, we're going to put this shoe to the side to focus only on the left one, and we're going to take out the laces and insoles to clean those up separately. Before we grab the shoe tree and place it inside to help us with the creasing, we're going to move on to using the compressor to blow off any surface grime and dust on the sneaker. I'm going to focus on the inside of the shoe, the suede and everything else, just so we're going to push it further deep into the material with the brush and solution. All done with that step, if you guys don't have an air compressor at home, you can just use a soft bristle brush, go over the entire shoe thoroughly, that'll also make a huge difference. Next, we're gonna grab the shoe tree, put it in place, and then grab our solution and squirt two squirts inside our bowl of water. First brush we're gonna be using is our soft bristle brush. We're gonna focus on the upper and inside to break down all the grime and dirt. After that, we'll move on to the medium bristle brush. So far so good, we're all done with the soft bristle brush. The uppers and insides look really good. From what I can tell, it's surface grime and that washes off pretty easily. The next brush we're gonna be using is the medium bristle brush on the midsoles, the rubber pieces on the uppers, and while we're at it, we're gonna go over the white leather one more time to really focus on the white stitching. Before we move on to the stiff bristle brush and dirty up the water, we're gonna grab the insole and lace and give these a quick clean. For this, we'll be using the soft bristle brush. Almost done with the cleaning, the last brush we gotta use is a stiff bristle brush to clean up these outsoles. Pre-treatment is complete, we got the shoe, insole, and lace fully cleaned up. All that's left is to put the shoe inside the washing machine to fully flush out the grime, dirt, and suds. Let's put the shoe inside the laundry bag with a detergent pod to the washer. We're back, we got the shoe out of the washing machine. Overnight, we let the shoe fully dry. It's ready to go so we can move on with this restoration. This is a really easy shoe to clean. The washing machine did not damage it at all. However, right now it's really crunchy. It's not soft at all. We gotta get it back to its soft texture. So for this, we'll be using our brass bristle brush to do the trick. Good to go using the brass bristle brush. We got the suede back to its original buttery soft texture. Now let's move on to the restoration side of things. If you guys are fixing this specific shoe at home, there's two issues you may encounter. The first one being scuffs or scratches on the off-white leather or cracking or scuffs on the green midsole. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix both. But first we're gonna take care of the off-white leather. On the inside, there are some heavy scratches and scuffs going on. Before we can do anything, we gotta get it nice and smooth. We're gonna start off with the 320 grit sandpaper to get rid of all the roughness. After that, we'll move on to the 800 grit to get it nice and smooth, and then we'll finish it off with the 1200 grit to get it buttery smooth before we move on to the repaint. Prep is complete, we got this area nice and smooth. I also took care of some small scuffs on this other side. Luckily for me, the scratches on the shoe weren't that deep, so I didn't have to use any leather filler. The sandpaper did its trick. Next step, I'm gonna do some taping. I'm gonna tape off everything but this white panel, including the white stitching. Tape drop is complete, now we're on to mixing some paint. For this one, it's gonna be really easy. All we're gonna be using is some Jacquard Opaque White and a little bit of light brown. I'm gonna add some white into this paint jar and add a couple of drops of brown, not too much because it's really strong. Once we get the perfect match, we'll airbrush the paint on. Paint job is almost complete. We got the scuffs fully covered up, but right now, as this, it's pretty rough, so we gotta go back with some 1500 grit sandpaper to sand it down. After that, we'll apply one more coat of paint to finish it off. Paint job is complete. Got a perfect color match and it's nice and smooth. To protect it, we gotta go outside and spray a couple of coats of some Krylon matte finish.
All done with this part of the restoration. Next step, we're gonna take off the tape so we can focus on the midsole. The next focus is the midsole. It's really just the green. The shoe isn't that old or heavily worn to the point where there's a lot of paint cracking all around the midsole. So we're not gonna strip the entire thing. The white is good as this, so we're not gonna work on that. It's really just the green. For this one, I'm gonna highly recommend to airbrush it. I don't recommend paint brushing it. Green is one of those colors that it's so tricky. It takes like 15 coats to get fully solid. Airbrushing it's gonna be a lot easier. This is one of those colors that I've never mixed before. So I'm gonna do some trial and error. I got all the greens and some white. Let's start mixing. Got the paint all mixed up, not gonna lie, this one was a little tricky. I had to use all five colors. I started off with the bright, vibrant green. After that, I added the darker green, but at that point I realized it was a little too dark, so I added some bolt. This color helped bring it more on the yellow side. After that, I realized it was too on the yellow side, so I added some military olive green to deepen the tone, and then I finished it off with a tiny bit of white to get the perfect hue. It was a little tricky, I still have to test it out. We're gonna airbrush it onto the paper, compare it onto the metal. If it's good, we'll move on to the paint job. Got the perfect tone. Again, those five colors that I use is all you need to get the perfect mix. Now for the next part, we're gonna be using some 800 grit sandpaper to go over the entire green portion of the midsole. We wanna get it nice and smooth and wipe off any factory finish. Again, we don't wanna touch the white. Sanding is complete. We also got the perfect paint match. Now we're onto some taping. We're gonna tape off the entire upper and the white midsole, just leaving the green midsole exposed. Taping the top part is easy, but the bottom part is a little tricky. To get a clean, consistent line every time, you wanna use two pieces of tape, one long one and one medium size. All you wanna do is a lot of pulling, stretching, and using your nails to lay it down flat. That's how you get a sharp line every time. Tape job is complete. Before we lay down the green paint, we gotta lay down a white base coat. There's a lot of inconsistencies in the paint. We gotta even it out. Paint job is 95% done. It looks really good. Color match is on point. I'm gonna use some 2500 grit sandpaper to go back on the paint job just to smooth out any small imperfections to get as smooth as possible. Once that's done, we'll go back with one more coat of green paint and finish it off. Green paint looks great. Now we're gonna go back outside and spray some Carlisle matte finish to protect the paint job. Remove the tape. Repaint is fully complete. I gotta say, it looks factory. Last step we gotta do is lace it up. All right, YouTube, that is gonna bring us to an end on this Pine Green Nike SB restoration. Overall, this was a straightforward restoration. I know a lot of you guys' pairs are still in great condition. These are not that old. One day in the future, a lot of these pairs are gonna be beat up, or you may be casually wearing the sneaker and you get a scuff on the green or a scuff on the off-white leather. If there's other damage on the shoe that I didn't cover in this video, such as oxidation on the sneaker, simply all you have to do is put some Rejuvenator Soul Revive on the rubber sole, put it in the indoor setup and that'll remove the yellowing. If you have a nasty stain on the suede and it didn't come off with the Rejuvenator Solution or the Brass Pistol Brush, you can try using some 220 grit sandpaper to sand it off. It may take a little work, but it does a trick. Other than that, the only other damage I can think of is having creasing on the shoe. The shoe tree should cover that, and if it doesn't, the iron method should also do the trick. For this restoration, we used our Rejuvenator Signature Shoe Cleaning Kit to give the shoe a proper deep clean inside and out. The shoe is 100% safe to put in the washing machine. Just don't ever put the shoe in the dryer, let it air dry. You can find all the products at rejuvenator.com. Use my promo code down below to save some money. This is Vic Almighty. I'll catch you guys next Monday. See you guys.